Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of the Chinese, well not really, the Chi yeah she is, the Chinese attack to go kill these guys. I'm going to go send my troops over here to go defeat whatever Denam troops are over here. Uh, China's doing a fairly okayish job in terms of conquesting. They're doing okay, but that's good because the weaker they become, the more stronger I become. I, I do believe that they're going to be able to pull out a win here. If they really, if they mobilize, they'll win. Because, let's be honest here, they're not mobilized. Neither are these guys either, I just realized. Oh, shoot. Well, yeah, neither are Gunzai and either of them. I think, is everyone just literally this calm to be like, Yeah, we'll totally beat the Ottoman Empire here, yeah. It doesn't matter that they have been literally the biggest army in the entire world and have the empire that spans from England all the way to uh, the Siberian coast. It doesn't matter about that. I literally have colonies everywhere now. Oh, gosh. Yeah, that's pretty pompous and ignorant, you guys. I'm just saying that. You probably should be you probably should be peeing your pants right about now. Because I literally am the biggest empire you're ever going to encounter that will literally take you out with no get second share. Okay, go destroy these guys, please. Denam is not a civilized nation, if I remember correctly. Right? No, they... Yes, they are not a civilized nation, so this should actually be a really big slaughter. Yeah... Yeah, sorry about that, guys. You guys are annoying. Sorry. It's the truth. You guys should never try to fight me when I'm bigger than you. Okay. Which of these guys were still exiled? Because then I could go send them in to go, like, uh, clean up all this mess, too. Apparently can't. But let's see. China. Uh, it's going down pretty good. But as I can see, they, I see more Chinese, see more Chinese luck than anything. So I'm pretty sure we're winning this. Most of it. I already have my war score set too, so it's all good. It's all good. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it, China's gonna basically crush. I think they're gonna finish off Gun's Eye first, and then they're gonna move on to the other ones. Because I'm pretty sure they can beat all these guys. Rock me in my cradle. Yeah! Sounds like a really good heavy metal band. Rock me in my cradle. Yeah! Okay, uh, you guys want an alliance with me? Uh, no. Sorry. Hey, France, you want an alliance? I'm still willing to forgive you. No. Okay, so I guess our French days buddies kind of time is over with. You know, it was it was great having having us as allies, France, but it's, guess it's I guess it is time to move on. I am deceiving myself to think that I'm not going to conquer you. Um, sure, you can have my alliance to Sicilies. Um, man, the only thing I wish, though, is I wish I could actually start doing war... Uh, doing war score against other nations while I'm at peace. Because this is really, it kind of does slow me down a little bit, the fact that I have to wait till other nations build up and win. Okay, let's see. Alright. Can I? Hey, Burma. Military access? No. <laughs> okay, so they don't want military access, but let's see. China's definitely winning on one front. I could definitely see that. They're definitely destroying the twin's eye on that front. They lost a lot of troops. I'm hoping that they will industrialize here soon. I actually don't know. Can you industrialize as a, like, hardcore nation? I thought you could. Well, anyways, uh, I just need to, like, let's see. I actually do have, wait, what am I doing? I actually do have a gigantic fleet over here. I could actually be helping. Yeah, let's go help. <laughs> I completely forgot about this. Uh, it's also pretty damaged, actually, now that I look at it. But still, dang, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm a so big idiot. Okay, let's see. We got more of that land. Industry. Get more of that stuff. Let's see. We probably should get some more. You know. Okay, you know what? Let's just get this just so I can get some steamer designs and I can start building some good old-fashioned steamers. Because I actually do think steamers would be much more helpful, especially for us conquesting the rest of the world. does look like the Chinese are starting to get a little bit battered up from the fact that they're dividing up their army in the tail. So... Yeah, hopefully, I'm hoping that they may do some smart tactics here soon, but probably not, so. I'm gonna go pick up my army down there. Let's go see. Pick up you guys. Go send you guys right here to go to Fuzan. Fuzan, yeah. Go to Fuzan. Then we're gonna go kill off all of these armies, because literally, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be able to defeat all the Gunzaian armies with one army. That may be me being cocky, but seriously, I have, I'm literally an advanced nation, and they're an inadvanced nation with... Almost all their troops dying every second. We should be able to defeat them. Plus, plus, China does seem like it needs just a little bit of help. 
Not very much help, but just a little bit of help. Because I don't want them out of the war just yet. Let's see, you guys are done with that. Get some steamers just so I can start building some more steamers. Transporting, I think, is going to probably be the worst part about trying to manage this empire. It's just trying to transport these troops over there, to these troops over there, to that troops over there. Oi. Long live the Ottomans! Oh, yay! Oh, and I can actually transport a little bit closer, actually. Let's see. Go right there. Go to Hong Kong. Oh, and look, there's some forces right there. Long live the Ottomans! Okay. There we go. Go start defeating some of these guys. Let's go, let's go, let's go start fighting. Let's go start helping. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm gonna be actually wise about my troop deployment. Because I actually know how to fight these guys. Let's see. Nine. Yes. Four, three, two, one, dead. Yep. Let's see, let's resiege all my Manchuko or Mancaro, whatever colony that is. I can't quite remember which one it is. Alright, now let's see. Go on a massive killing spree. We have to go destroy all these guys. Let's see, China, have you guys reconquered all this? Yes, you have. You basically have the Gunzai in, uh, the Gunzai revolt underneath your control. I'm going to go get my troops from the Philippines because I think the troops from the Philippines actually will help us out in this war. Uh, actually build two, we need at least two more cavalry, so... Let's see, so, uh, build like two cavalry, right there, let's see, there we go, let's see, do we still got all of our men over here, I'm pretty, this is still going to be a pretty good army if it ever comes out, um, <laughs> if it ever comes out, that will be a pretty good army, um, let's see, you guys I think are basically done, so divide up your men, go send up half of them over here, go send the other half down here, and then, let's see, let's go back to China, okay, yeah, my army is going to go on a massive, like, destruction spree to kill off all the rest of these guys. Like I said, it shouldn't be... We literally have the biggest army, even in terms of troop-wise, so we should be able to destroy the rest of these armies pretty quickly without much care. I mean, there's still a little bit of leeway here and there, but we need to... Yay! Common turn! Everyone join the common turn! Doesn't really matter to me, because I'm going to kill you all eventually, so... Just eventually accept your fate... Everyone's going to die eventually. It's just I will get to you guys very very soon. Okay, okay. Let's see. We need to get some. We have two years to research something. So let's see. Can we get revolution and counter revolution done in about two years? Let's see. Yes, we can. So counter revolution, revolution. There we go. Defeated another big gigantic army. Let's see. Let's see. Let's go crush through some of this land. Let's see, you guys got this underneath, yeah, China's got that underneath their control, don't even have to worry about that, yeah, good job, China, you guys helped me out so much with your own conquest, it's like they're almost betraying normal people, in a sense, I mean, it really does sound bad, no, I don't really care, if you guys, if you guys want to be communists, I really don't care, okay, I wish I did, but I really just don't care, all ideologies are stupid in my mind, because the only ideology we believe in is the Sultan ideology, okay, we're going to destroy all of these guys, Let's see, it's only... Yeah, they're basically done for. One army! Literally, one army! It took one army to defeat all of the uh, other nations that had troops. Hmm. Yeah. I'm awesome. <laughs> I think I think that's what it boils down to, is I am awesome. Let's see. Let's go destroy this army. I think that's the last big army. No, it's two more big armies, and then basically China has a free roam to go destroy these... Go, go destroy Gunzai. I mean, basically, okay, they destroyed the other army. Let's go see. I'm going to go help them siege down this for a quick second. There we go. All right. Let's fall back, seriously. Let's go destroy this army now and go destroy that army. And then we're basically done. The conquest thing is all done. We just have to wait till China does all of its cool ma magical majumbo, bumbo, whatever you want to call it. And we basically conquered two places in China that we really didn't need. But really, I'm glad we did. Let's go destroy these guys. Yes. All right, and then we have that one little army right there that's going to be annoying as anything, truth be told. Let's go. Let's go right there. Let's go destroy this last little army. Let's see, is there any... Yeah, we already destroyed all the Gunzaiyan army over here, so that should not be a difficulty. The last little bit of army, though, is that little, is that last little Gunzaiyan army. Actually, that we don't need to go destroy because it's already being destroyed for us. So we're going to go help the uh, Chinese go siege down this Lazy knaves will not adapt. There we go. Go help them destroy this just in case that they all die. There we go. Yep. And people already right there defending. So let's go help them out there. 
Whew. Okay, now we just need China to go siege up all this land. We actually should help them go siege up all this land because, like, we want these guys to be done first. So we can piece them out separately. And then once we piece them out separately, then we can go take all this land. Then we have an even bigger population. We're literally going to gain, like, 33 billion, 33 million, 8 million from here. How many from the guns I? 25. So about 30 million, as I just said. 30 million in terms of population. This is going to be nice once this is all done. Oh, man. I really do love this mod. <laughs> Did I tell you guys that? I really do love this mod. Uh, the infamy can be taken advantage of so quickly. Everything is just so easy to do. Oh, man. It's it's nice. It's, it's just... I love it. I love it so much, people. Are you... Oh, man. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay. So, let's go see... We're going to go to instantly go destroy these guys. Apparently, right now, we're taking some nutrition. Let's see. Yeah, we're destroying all those guys pretty quickly. Go siege up all the rest of this. You guys trying to go siege up the rest of all this. I'm going to go finish up these guys. Also, we should probably add one more Cosbelli actually against the uh, other people that we hate. The uh, um, uh, Denamians. Because they also kind of they also kind of wanted to join us, so let's go let's go help them out. Let's go see uh, storage yard, excelente. There we go. All right, Quinyai, you guys are gonna be out of this war now because there we go. So voila, China <laughs> in the middle of China there is Ottoman China Empire. All right, let's go this way now. We should try again. Just keep outfitting expeditions. I'm pretty sure we'll discover the North Pole eventually. Literally, I think we're the closest ones to it. Like, I'm pretty sure North Pole is somewhere over there. By the way, let's go start colonizing the rest of this land because I just remembered that we have to actually do it because the Russians aren't here anymore. So we have to actually colonize all this land. So let's do that. <laughs> oh my goodness, all that land up there going to have to be colonized. And let's see, China lost a lot of men too. They lost a good amount of soldiers in that war. Let's see, if I was to declare war on you guys next, you guys have Siam and... Tibet. So we probably get Siam, Tibet, that we, we'd have a connection between our lands. Oh, that's actually good. Okay, let's see. Mongolia, Manchuria. It probably should be Manchuria now that I think about it. Now, Manchuria should be... As soon as we go after Yuan, then after that should be Manchuria. Then I can actually start putting troops on the border. Then I can go destroy China after that. Yeah. All these things and more, people, as I think of how to destroy China the best. And as we have Chinese men flood into the... Uh, other regions of all these other states that tried to talk against me. Oh, man. They regret it now. I guarantee it. They regret it. They're like, shoot, we should probably have not have done that. Yeah, that, that was not the smartest move on our parts, but they're going to learn. They're going to learn very quickly. Reload. Let's see. And then now I'm going to add a war goal to you guys. Wait, did somebody already add a war goal? And X guns I. Oh, wait. Yeah, so that was protected over you guys, too. There we go. And let's see. I'm pretty sure Gunzai was the leader of this war, so... Because I, I have no I have no clue if Denam could actually, like, conquer them. Let's see, my one army is going to go move down, go start conquesting all this. Man, China, you guys are beast. You guys are just a beast. Okay, and let's see, we got all this natural glistening. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, this is like... Oh my goodness, this is not like... Okay, go right here, go right there. Let's see. Yeah, I have to also remember, we do have rebels occasionally, so might have to deal with that. Okay, we got all you guys created. You guys just finished up with your creation, so we can go divide you guys. Go send half the army over. Actually, I think they could actually... I think this... If I remember correctly, these provinces can actually support 72 men. And if not, I'm going to make sure they do support 72 men. Because literally, this is awesome. So let's go right there. Let's go back over here to China. Okay, as I... As the Chinese slowly siege everything. Oi. Enforce, yes, enforce it. We must enforce the, the Ottoman Calcutta. Because honestly, what else would our, would our culture do if we did not accept more people that we don't already have? Oh gosh. But what if this game crashes if you have literally everyone in your population? I don't know if it does, but I would assume so. So let's see. We're going to siege up all that land. Oh my goodness. China basically just overswarmed everyone. Wasn't even a competition. They just were like, boop, dead, boop, dead, boop, dead. Oh my goodness. We got more nationalistic focus. So now we just need a really quick technology. So let's get reinforcements. Uh, that should finish up in a very short amount of time. Because literally it's a technology that's really old. And 
I should have probably discovered it by now, but I got too lazy. Okay, there we go. Finish up with that. Let's see. Enforce it. Enforce it. We want to make sure everyone starts becoming the the uh, Ottoman way. We must become the Ottoman way, people. All right, let's go right here. Uh, November 8th. Yeah, this should finish up just in time so I can get more technology and everything. Oh my goodness, I'm such a I'm such a beast right now in terms of technology. All right, we got that. The Chinese are just helping us out, but they're also killing a lot of my soldiers. I just realized that. So let's see. Finish up a lot of these. Let's see. You guys, I am. I can't really do much with you guys, so actually you guys can uh, just get out of the war. You guys are just providing more and more trouble for us. Oh, and uh, new nationalist focused. Uh, Leinster, Connecticut. We could probably do another bureaucratic moment. Wait, not bureaucratic. Uh, capitalistic moment. <laughs> Look at all those accepted cultures, man. Those are just uh, non-accepted cultures. Okay, there we go. So now Siam's out of the war. Now let's go deal with uh, these guys. Let's go finish up sieging up all the rest of the Nam. So we can finish up the rest of our sieges. Yes, please. Finish up the sieges in the Nam. Okay. We have to finish this up as soon as possible. There we go. Right there. So we're about to gain so much land. Oh my goodness, I, I am drooling over the amount of land we're going to gain. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. You guys all go right here. Let's see, you guys are all doing stuff. Preacher man. Preacher, preacher man. I don't really care. I want to be a preacher man. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see. So we have how many more states before, before this place is going to fall? Let's see, we're sieging up their land so quickly, it's not even funny. Alright, and let's see, go to siege up that land. Let's see, probably what I need to do is go over here, because these two provinces are going to finish up sieging very, very quickly. And that one's going to be finishing up very, very quickly. I know you guys want to peace out. I know you guys would be easy to destroy. Let's go get our final research points, yay! And this should give us the maximum amount of research we can ever have in this game. So I really don't need anything else. Uh... Let's go see. Yes, we finished up with that siege. Excelente. Uh, this could come in handy. Rubber! Yay! We discovered rubber. That means our factories will still grow. Okay. So, Denam, you're next. Denam? Wait. Okay, wait. I'm going to pause it now because I want to do this in a very, very specific order. And if it doesn't work, I want to make sure I get the order right. I'm pretty sure we have to piece out Denam and then go to Gunzai. But let me just make sure. So, peace out, Denam. Yes, okay. Then you guys, Annex Gunzai. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness. Let's see, we just finished up some more colonies down here. We could get this to a colonial state. Wow! Uh, let's see, how much... Is there anything else we can actually convert to a state? Wow, that's actually really cool. Okay, so we just did that. The Bullfair Decoration. Why not? Let's do the Bullfair Decoration. Alright, there we go. Alright, 15 prestige, even though it's probably not going to help me. Yes, okay. Next thing we need to do is... It's first just admire the fact we have we have this much China land. Okay. And next thing we need to do is start conquesting Yuan. So Yuan, decrease relationship with Yuan. And let's see. No, Tibet would be about the same. And then, let's see. We need to release a couple people, though. Let's see. Oldenburg, two main, two main provinces. Lumbeck, let's release Lumbeck and let's release Kashmir. There we go. We got some more vassals somewhere. I really don't know where. Um, and let's see. As soon as we're ready, we're going to go declare war. We can also do some mild reforms. Huh. That's pretty interesting. Even though I don't really care about reforms in this game, it's really interesting that we could do reforms if we really wanted to. Which is kind of funny to think about, guys. It really is. Uh, the Kent City Parliament. Yay! Yay! More people are becoming cores. We're slowly starting to integrate ourselves outward. Wait. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going, though, because I really do want to get this alliance. Oh, we got more people! <gasps> Yay! Create a protectorate. Create a state. Uh, create a protectorate. I didn't apparently get that land. Let's go right there. Let's go right over here. Uh, ODAB. Oh, dab. Oh, snap. Let's go right there. Let's go right there. Let's see. As the Ottoman Empire's name is slowly spread out even more around the world, 
Let's go see. Let's go get this uh, Casas Belli. Demand established protector. Because that's so over that's so overpowered. Okay, let me get the protector it too. I wanna thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.